curiosity. Killed the cat, right? Awful thing to happen. Um, but yeah, seriously, on, on LinkedIn, I think curiosity is the thing that most people fail to achieve. That hook line at the beginning of your post as a, as a great example, right? So um, three things that you didn't know about X, Y, and Z. Five ways that you can A, B, and C. All those sorts of things because it creates curiosity. It's not about, and I'll stress this quite heavily, it's not about creating clickbait. It's about showcasing what the content you're about to write to them about is without giving it all away. It makes them, you know, we see this all the time in headlines and the news that journalists are very, very good at writing these, these headlines that get us to read more. You know, if I look, I think about the Sunderland AFC news website that I read, it often states something about a player, but doesn't tell you who the player is. So you have to click into the article to see who they're talking about. This number one midfielder can't be lived without this this month and he's been superb. Find out who it is in the article, right? And, and then you click through and it's in there and it tells you all the information. I think that's something that as a, as a general rule, most people are really bad at on, on LinkedIn and that's no fault of our own. We're not trained journalists, um, but it does separate really good from average. So when you next create a post for LinkedIn, regardless of what kind of post that is, just have a think about that first line or two lines. Write your original content first, then go back and write your hook line. And just think to yourself, if, if I was my client, what are the few things that I would care about that, that I can ask a question about that would make me sit up and think, ah, I really want to know the answer to that. What is that? Why is that? So, you know, What's, what's the number one way that you could be more consistent with your LinkedIn presence, right? Maybe that's it. Maybe there's a better version of that. But have a play about with it. And it takes iteration, right? You, you won't get this right from day one. You've got to play about with it. And it's a constant learning process for all of us for who aren't professional copywriters, right? That's, that's certainly not me. Uh, but have a think about it because it is super important to get people to click more, read the rest of your content, eventually get to your call to action and know you. Let me know if that's useful. Drop me a follow, drop me a subscribe. I'm Paul, here to provide LinkedIn advice for those of you who want to convert your audience to paying customers.